In this lesson, we'll continue a review of Math Test 9, Section 4, Calculator Permitted. We're still relatively early on in the section, problems 8 and 9. All right, let's look at 8. The line graph in the XY plane below models the total cost in dollars for a cab ride Y in a certain city during non-peak hours based on the number of miles. According to the graph, what is the cost for each additional mile traveled in dollars of a cab ride? So we've got the distance on the X, and we have the cost on the Y. And we just want to know what the cost is for each additional mile. So if the x goes up by 1, the cost, which is the y, will just increase by the slope. That's all you have to do is find the slope of this line. And let's just look for points that are exactly on a line. So let's just pick the y-intercept. So that's going to be 0, 3, right? And it looks like 1, 5. And let's just go this way. So the change in y, so 5 minus 3 is 2. 1 minus 0. So it's just 2. You could almost look at this and see for each additional mile traveled it goes up by 2, but we just use the slope formula. All right, let's look at question number 9. On Tuesday, local gas station had 135 customers. The table above summarizes whether or not the customers on Tuesday purchased gasoline and beverage, both or neither. Based on the data in the table, what's the probability that a gas station customer selected at random on that day did not purchase gasoline. So sometimes you have these probability questions and it might say like given that a customer purchased a beverage, but that's not the case. We're just picking all the customers who visited the gas station. So right away we know that's going to be out of 135. That's the total. And we want to see what's the probability of those 135 that a customer did not purchase. And so gasoline not purchased. Again, we're not paying attention to whether they purchased a beverage or not. We're just looking at the total number and it's 150. It's it's 50, sorry, I circled it and I said 150, but it's 50. And so that that's it, it's just 50 over 135. So the answer is D.